Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Greetings. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Wescombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the King concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with the Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilized their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed, we must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation.
All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. <laughs> <laughs> 